In 2012, my colleague Chuck Dennis and I came to South Sudan. We heard about this new country after 22 years of civil war and so many people dying, but yet a people of hope, and hope is so important. We traveled around the country to many parts of South Sudan, and our last day was spent in war. We were in the office of former Governor Kual Manyang Duke. In America, we have 50 states. I have lived in several states. I have never been in an office of a governor of a state in America. And then I found myself in the governor office in this state. And we told Governor Manyan, we have come to help. But we see your country so new, a baby country at that time, needs everything. You need road. You need clinics. You need schools, you need uh, bridges, you need good water, you need everything. We cannot do everything. What would you like us to do? He said, we need schools and especially we need vocational training. Because at this time, our people only know how to shoot and fight in war. Our people do not have skills to rebuild our country. And so people from outside the country, from Uganda, from Kenya, are coming. And they are working, and they are making money, and they are sending their salaries back to support their families. Yes, our country is benefiting by the construction, but not very much from the salaries, because our people do not know how to do those things. So we need them to be trained. He said, we need a vocational school. But we need a vocational boarding school because our tribes are fighting with one another. And people, young people from this tribe think the young people in another tribe are bad people. And the people in that tribe think the other people are bad people. We need a vocational school, boarding school, where people from the different tribes can come and live in the dormitories together, eat in the cafe food together, study in the classroom together, and they will learn that everybody from that tribe is not a bad person. That person is a friend of mine now, and that will help us not only to rebuild our country, but to build peace and understand.